I only remember those I could not save. Bullshit. When I was in country, once in a while we get a chance to evacuate a village before the napalm dropped. Wasn't our SOP, but we still did it. Had a couple close calls when the bombers showed up early. But I remember every single face. So how many were there? Forty-three. Should have been more, but some folks didn't trust us. Thought we were gonna march them into a shallow grave. Still remember the fear in their eyes. Nothing motivates quite as well as fear. Not a damn thing. So how would it? What was your count? Two hundred and twenty-six. Goddamn. One boat every night, but ten months. Mostly women and children. The men were either enlisted or disappeared. We had more refugees than we knew what to do with. They didn't always survive the trip, but dying on the bateau, running from Papa Doc, was better than the alternative. Sergeant Dixie Cox took a sound like Christmas morning by comparison. If you would have told me 15 years ago that all this would happen, I would have called you crazy. I believe I'd die an old man with my family all around me. Yeah. Not in this life, anyway. No. Not in this life. Keep winging in the marijuana, Fred. This is our life now. Go to this warehouse. Inside, there's a large stash of our weed. Kill the assholes guarding it and then bring it back. A word of advice, Fred. There is one thing you should never, ever do if Cassandra asks. Poker. <laughs> Don't ever play in poker. She will leave you with your zozo in your hands and not enough for cap fare. <laughs> Take my word for it. Oh, hey, the fruits are our labor. Bon appetit. The man you was working out of the boathouse if you need him.
trying to get at that hollow pussy. Damn, have your girl come see you. Way Donna tells it, they find out you're fucking black only, them Haitian boys will come for you. Well, there you go. Stop trying to fuck black girls. Only a matter of time before your wife finds out. What? You remember her, right? I spot the fucking boys down here! Huh? That, that shit can't be here! Shut yeah. motherfucker! Grab some cow. I'll feed you to my fucking hogs! We getting shot up! Get down here! You fucking with the wrong crew! That boy's mine! He's all yours, boy! Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. Business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. Part I'm worried about? when Marcano decides he wants to come at Vito one good last time. What Greco don't seem to get is this isn't the kind of work where being flashy is gonna get you any further. Roy's problem? He's got a pretty wife. It's how the dumb son of a bitch wound up buying a house and a car he couldn't afford. <laughs> 